Well, hello YouTube. So, um, a <laughs> bit of a disaster this week. I had three vlogs lined up, which I edited, and when I made them, I uh, hadn't realised that uh, I'd lost the little foam piece off my uh, drift microphone. So basically, what I'm talking about is that one of them or a version of one of them. All right. This one's actually a, a large, you see, I can use it free to talk to. So about half the size of that would be in focus, would be in the crash of it. And I'd lost this wind protector. So it meant that the um, the vlog I made, which I broke into three parts, it was a bit of a disaster. Uh, I put one up this afternoon, but I very quickly took it down because I, it, it, I couldn't listen to it. And the thought went through my head as I was watching it. So I always watch everything I put up. I do an edit where I check what's in it. Then I do an upload. And when it's uploaded, as quick as soon as it's uploaded, I'll watch it and then I'll make up my mind is it actually up to me what you know my standard and when i edited this one i was thinking oh, it's a bit iffy and what i did was i divided it into three short segments try and get rid of the rubbish in between try and make something out of the three um vlogs i'd made anyway i didn't like them so they've gone but uh one of my um subscribers said to me could we have another garage vlog and i was trying to think of something to vlog on and i thought yeah this um, this problem I've been having and how I resolved it. So that's what the vlog's about. So up to now, uh, I've tried to resolve the turbulence and noisy issues of uh, wind on my audios, basically to sorting out the bike, which I think I've I've probably got as good as I can get. Uh, I've had a, a week with without that visor on. And then I've had a week with it back on. And then I've been looking in um, you know, at the stuff I've made. And to be honest with you, you can't tell a, there isn't a great difference. But when you're riding a bike, riding the bike, should I say, yeah, I think there probably is a slight difference. And it's in favour of that air blade. It does seem to help. But the thing that's really making the difference is this air dam. That I'm sure is, is, is part of the solution. Um, the other thing that's been a, a massive help is, is the new RI helmet. Once I've sorted out the microphone and I'm gonna show you what I did. So this is my new RI helmet. Yeah, it's, um, I can never remember the name. Let me check the back so I get it right. It's a Tour X4. ADV helmet and uh, it's the first one in a long long time perhaps a decade that hasn't actually been fitted with a phone comm system much like this one down here which is my HJC flip max 2 I'm still using this helmet and I still plan to use this helmet. So, you know, it's it's only about 18 months old. It's still a perfectly serviceable helmet. But where this helmet differs is it has a wand system. Can you see? Try and get my arm out of the way, just a minute, without dropping me crash helmet. There you go, look. So it's got a wand system in it. And the bottom microphone is for the drift and the top one is for this uh, Scala Rider QZ. I call it an Oz, but it's actually a QZ. It just looks like Oz to me. Anyway, um, as I say, this helmet here doesn't have um, a comm system. It just has a drift mount. So I'll show you inside now so you can see how I've mounted the microphone and I'm pretty sure you'll see 
what the problems be. Okay, so with the aid of this light, I'm gonna, there we are, show you what I've done in here. Can you see, that's the mount. Okay, sorry, this is the best I can do lighting wise. It's what it's on, it's on a piece of Velcro. And then to keep from losing this um, um, microphone protective foam, I've actually taped it in place. It's quite solid, but you can see the main problem that it's right next to that full face vent. So, the microphone's literally, uh, let me see. Yeah, so it's roughly here, you know, on the other side of this. And so the this face piece, when it's open and there's no sponge cover on it, accounts for the horrible wind turbulence noise that I was getting from the three vlogs that I've had to delete. But now I've put a new sponge on it and uh, I've managed to um, quieten it down so that it sounds nice. There's no, you just hear, you can hear the air passing the bike, but it's a natural sound. It's not a turbulent sound. Um, and that's been the solution. With the, um, with both the, uh, the HJC, which I'm now struggling with, excuse me a minute. <laughs> Problem. That's better. With the uh, HJC, that's that's the bonus of having comms. The reason why I haven't bought a comms unit is because I don't use them. The only time it ever seems to come in use is the odd occasion that I run the sat nav, and uh, it's not enough to warrant spending three or four hundred pounds um, on a a new uh, comms aid. And I really don't want to mess with this helmet too much. I, I actually didn't want to put the camera mount on it, but I just I, I realised I've got no choice. And so um, that was the best option I could come up with. I tried fastening it in with a piece of cotton. It didn't work. It kept snapping. This seems to be the better. But you can see, look how close it is. You've got to keep that um, vent closed. So in winter, it isn't a problem. Whether it becomes a problem in summer, uh, well, I don't think it will because I've I've used it uh, on autumn vlogs with that vent open and providing you have the sponge cover on, it doesn't seem to cause me any problems. I have exactly the same system um, on the other HJC, my IS33 open face, as I have on the flip-fronted helmet. Um, it has one of these uh, microphone ones so makes it pretty simple but I have found with the um, IS-33 that uh, it, it picks up a bit of wind noise because of the nature of the open face helmet so again I apologize for taking down that video uh, that went up this afternoon but it wasn't doing me any favors uh, for some bizarre reason, I am losing numbers on the channel. Not that it matters. It's If you like the channel, you're very welcome. And if you don't like the channel, well, there we go. <laughs> I was talking to Harry B this tea time about it. And he said um, there was there was another problem that, that Harry identified. But we won't go into that. Um, but he does check things for me. And if he sees something, he lets me know. Um... Yeah, but he, I said to him, the the vlogs are getting more and more difficult to do because I have such a limited amount of stuff to vlog about. And I don't want to make them, you know, I don't want them to be boring. I want them to have a little bit of interest about them. But Harry's attitude was, he said, oh, he said, I think your vlogs are a little bit like Last of the Summer Wine or, um, you know, um, some of these um, well-liked comedies. And he said, you know exactly what you're going to get it's just slightly different formats, more or less showing the same things. Now, personally, I don't particularly want to go down that road, but I can see why he thinks like that. So 
hence the reason why I decided to cut down on the amount of vlogs I'm doing to one it a week. was one vlog but it was in broken down into three 10 minute segments but I say the audio on it was so poor uh, because of the distortion from all the wind noise uh, and it was nothing it was nothing to do with um, the bike the windscreens the air dam it was solely to do where's it gone come out <laughs> with a little bit of foam and these things you can see i've got this one taped on they fall off and the trouble is you don't know the beggars have gone until you're doing the editing and then you discover the disaster incidentally i've had uh, a few people saying about how the disc is unstable at speed and causes vibration and um uh, it's difficult to use um i've had this crash helmet up to legal speed limits um 70 miles an hour on dual carriageway and uh, going towards york the other day i had no problems with it and it was the blusty gusty horrible day um wind wise it um but the bike was running pretty good through it and i didn't have a, a single bit of trouble with having the peak on this helmet the talking crash helmet strikes again <laughs> so um but what you can do is if you're traveling a long distance on motorways you can take the uh, this visor off here put it in your bag and then what you have is uh, a set of blanking plates which one for each side I'm, i've got them in, in they're in a plastic bag and they're sealed up and i haven't undone it and i don't intend to do until i need to use them to keep them nice but that's the solution and it turns this into a conventional ri full face helmet there's absolutely no difference but as i say with, with for me I, I really do like this i'm really really pleased with it and um i haven't had any problems with it of any kind whatsoever um the pin lock in it works brilliantly and what i've done is i've actually um got a pair of glasses which i specifically use just for this crash helmet which are metal framed much like my sunglasses i find that i mean my everyday glasses with the plastic frames um are difficult um it's not the helmet's fault it's the flimsy glasses and i'm frightened i'm going to snap them but i'm due for a new guy glasses in january and so i'm going to get a nice pair of um, alloy frame glasses and a new pair of sunglasses i don't intend to put a black visor in this uh, i shall wear sunglasses um this helmet doesn't have a drop down visor um i've had them in the uh, hjc in this one and uh if i can make it work uh, pressing the wrong hang on oops it's really difficult hang on there we go the quality of the tint on this isn't as dark as it looks and uh I've, I've had occasions where i've actually had to wear sunglasses as well as have that down because that hasn't been strong enough on bright lit days um whereas me um me is 33 that's actually quite good so that's just to answer another thing so a few people have said they didn't like it because it didn't have the sun shield but uh, now i'm having no problems with it and i'm really pleased with it really pleased with it so that's uh, a garage babble done i hope you've enjoyed it uh, i've had a few people asking me to do them uh, they aren't my favorite thing to do but if you enjoy them i'll have a go every now and then providing i can find something worthwhile to talk about and this um ri um crash helmet is definitely worth talking about would i recommend it to people yes i would so um i'm a lucky lad
Bye for now. Bye-bye.